there are hundreds of hundreds of AI models providers are out there in the market. You may build applications using those services or providers. Your users may use those applications. But as the backend numbers or the AIs grows up, how can you manage it at a single place? Or how can you unify the access to all of the models from a single place? Well, in that case, we have something called light LLM. So for example, it works as a gateway between your user or any kind of application and your backend AI providers or models. For example, I have OpenAI, maybe Google and Grok or any other model provider. Light LLM supports a plenty number of AI models and providers. Obviously, I'll put a link in the description. And if I go to supported models and providers, you'll see a plenty big list is there, like Olama and everything is there. And for example, your user may now directly connect to your Light LLM using an API and Light LLM will redirect the traffic to the appropriate AI model depending on the configuration. Or even you can have an UI and UI might be connected to the API of Light LLM and Light LLM basically uses the OpenAI standard. It is pluggable to any UI or anything which supports OpenAI standards and user may connect to your UI. So that is what our Light LLM is. So let's directly jump into our exercise and it will be very quick and easy exercise. First, we will start with Gemini model, which is from Google and we will be simply using a Gemini API key. By the way, we will be using Light LLM proxy model. We need to define the configuration in YAML format. So I'm defining model list. What are the models I'm going to publish to my API in the list? The first model is Light LLM Gemini. You can name it anything. This name will be published as a model to the end users. Then what are the parameters it needs in order to act properly? We are specifying model then Gemini slash what model I'm going to take from Gemini. And you can check the documentation. It has plenty list as I said. Then obviously I need an API key to connect to Gemini. So that is what I'm getting from the environment variable. Let's ignore the next parts for now. And what I'll simply do, I'll open up my terminal. I'll change my directory to light LLM and episode one. And I'll simply use UVVNV to create a Python virtual environment using UV. You may very well use traditional Python virtual environment. That's not a problem. And it has been created over here in the .venv folder. So what I'll do, source .venv bin activate. Now my virtual environment has been activated. What I'll simply do, I can directly use this command like uvpp install or simply pip install, then light LLM proxy, or I can use this requirements.txt, uvpip install hyphen r requirements.txt. And very quickly, whatever needed has been installed in our virtual environment. Let's clear our screen. And we are going to start with only one model, which is Gemini. And what I'll do, I'll use light LLM. This is the command to run the proxy server hyphen hyphen config. And this is to specify where our configuration is written, which is in our config.yaml file. Let's hit enter. It will take a quick seconds. Now here we go. It is running on the default port, which is 4000. So let's open up our browser and let's go to 4000 just to check. And it is basically loading all the API endpoints. These are the endpoints. Now let's quickly do one API test. For that, what I'll do, I'll use curl and I'll be posting at localhost 4000, then slash chat slash completions. And my application data type will be JSON. In the authorization, I'm sending a BRR token, which is SK1234, which is the default API key for light LLM. Then what model I'm going to use. So let's check what is the model name, which will be light LLM Gemini for us change our model, which will be model, then light LLM Gemini. And simply in the message, so in the messages, our role will be user and whatever message we are going to ask or whatever prompt we need to give. So I'm simply asking what is quantum computer in simple words, something like that. Let's copy this line, go to another terminal, paste and let's hit enter. And my bad, invalid API key because I have not given an API key unauthorized, that is cool. Let me put the API key in this format, Gemini API key and let me do that. Export and I have already generated 
one API key from Google AI Studio and if you are wondering how to do that, I'll paste a link of my previous video, you can check that out. And this is our API key. Now at environment variable, let's run our light LLM again. So light LLM config, this is the command. Again it is running on port 4000 and let's try this question once again. And this time our answer should be correct. And these are some metadata along with that you will get a message in the response in the content it will basically give you all the results like imagine your regular computer blah 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 it explains what is quantum computers and that is good one cool thing about light llm you do not have to rely on any llm provider or any other model provider from the public you can create your own custom model if you want for example i have defined one python program where i have a simple function which returns a static answer but it can be anything in your case and if you want to use this function to answer your question just like an AI does. So how can you do that? Let's check that. So this is your function whatever function it needs to do and it can return a value. In our case if this function gets a question that's a text value it returns an answer or static answer with that. I'm concatenating the question and in the next line I'm giving the answer which is static like hello from thus learning. It can be dynamic in your case, you can create such functions and we are importing light LLM and we are importing some classes or functions also, custom LLM, then completion and completions. Along with that, we are also importing classes which are model response and streaming chunk and so on. And from typing, we are importing iterator and async iterator. Now we are defining our custom class. You can define your name. We are inheriting the custom LLM from light LLM. And we are defining some functions. We are defining the completion function or the chat completion. Same functions are being replicated in the asynchronous also. We do have a streaming function and we have also asynchronous streaming function. And behind the scene, if you see, I'm taking the message from the user and we are simply calling our own function, which is my function. So this is our function and here is the definition we are calling it. Then in the completion also we are calling our own function and once this function returns something the light llm basically will take that response and it will send back to the user and we are defining a variable which is basically holding that particular class or my custom llm now let's go to our config.yaml let's open up this commented out section previously we had this particular gemini model along with that we are defining another model and we can give any name to our model which will be visible to our end users and we are also defining some model it can be anything and make sure this particular line matches whatever model you define in your light llm class so this is our model in our previous case if you see it was gemini slash something that means it goes to gemini now we have defined my llm slash something whenever it gets my llm slash it doesn't know where to go that is what we are specifying light LLM settings. We are defining custom provider map. We are defining what are the maps which we have made custom. We are defining a provider which is same as here. My LLM. We are defining whenever you get my LLM, you should check this handler. I am defining my LLM underscore AI which is the name of the Python file in the same directory. So this is our Python file. Inside that it will be looking for my LLM which is nothing but this variable at line number 55 and that is it and our Gemini API key was already set. Let's run our light LLM config and again it is running on port 4000 and this time we can also do a chat and this time also we can send an API call to our custom model and we'll get a response. Instead of doing that, let's run an UI tool I'm, and that is defined in this folder. I'll be running one UI in Docker, which is publicly available. I'll simply put this command and this particular thing is from LobeHub and the tool is called LobeChat. Let's run this. Let's verify this. It's running on port 3210. Let's open up this. Now it is loading up the chat application. Let's go into the settings. And from settings, we'll be going to language model. Click on that. And you'll see this particular chat tool supports many backends. In our case, we will be turning on OpenAI. 
and this time let me put the API key which is SQ1234 by default and our light LLM is running at localhost 4000 and for quick referencing I am just turning on client side fetching mode which is turned on here and after this I will be clicking on get model list. It will try to fetch the models which are published by light LLM. It has found two models. Let's click on the drop down. These are the models which we have published light LLM Gemini and also my sample LLM. So I have selected both of them and our configuration is done. Let's go to chat option from the left side navigation panel and it has selected my sample LLM. So let's put a message and it will give the static answer as we know. So hello there something like that. And it gets the static answer hello from Das Learning. Let's now change our model to the Gemini model which is published via light LLM. And let us ask something what is fiber optic something like that. And maybe it is saying something else I need to add something drop params equals to true. So let's set it something like this drop params and let us check. Let's open up our new chat. Let's go with same question maybe. And here is our answer. And this particular chat tool doesn't know what is happening behind because it is using the OpenAI standard, not the Gemini standard. And that is it for this video. Let's catch up in some next episodes. Thanks for watching this video.